You ready? Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Christmas episode. The, what are we calling it? The 2018, 2018 Three, Whisketeers Three Whisketeers Christmas episode. Christmas episode! <laughs> I'm your host, Jamie. This is uh, our angel here at Hipster Curtis, and our ho ho ho. Happy <laughs> Hunger. Man. It's not Eddie. ho ho ho, it's he <laughs> Uh, Curtis, we set up the set. Um, you covered it up. I haven't seen what we got, so why don't you okay, well, go ahead and start us off then? Do buddy. the reveal gently. 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 I'm going to do so time. gentle. Oh, oh, oh. Bam, bam. We have a Delmore port finish. Oh, good. And what is special about this bottle, besides it being just a wonderful bottle of whiskey, it is the 200th bottle of a different kind of whiskey. So I have now 200 different types of whiskey in my collection, and that is number 200. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that so, is awesome. Oh no, it even gets better than that. Okay. <laughs> okay. How better? How better? How I'm better does it get? <laughs> For years, I have wanted to find a whiskey that was either finished in port or sherry barrels. Okay. Find out what barrels were used. Oh, that's right. And then get the port. That the barrels were used in. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. So I found out that Graham. Yep. Tawny Grams. Port is what was used. So All right. I got us a bottle of Graham's Tawny Port, 2011 vintage. Wanted to get the 2016 because it's supposed to be exquisite, but this is really good. Okay. This is this is Graham's established in 1820, 2011 vintage Porto, bottled in 2013. Awesome. From where, then? Uh, from Portugal. where? Por port is from Portugal. Then. Yeah, Imported so. by Premium Port Wines, San Francisco, California. So now, this port... Oh, yeah. There you go. Yep. Sorry. This port may not be the exact barrels. Right. But it well, is the company that makes it, and the barrels that were used were Tawny Port. Oh, yeah. It says right here, the company owns two vineyards in Quinta dos Malvedos and Quinta de Tua, where some of the Duro Valley's very finest ports are made. Store this bottle lying down and deck it before serving. Oh! So we have the 200th bottle. That's right. We have the matching port. That's right. That's right. And all of that plus the Christmas show. Yeah! Christmas. Dude, that's a cool tool right there. Yeah, usually it works. Where'd you get that from? Like in the alley or something? Yeah, in an alley. That's where I got it. Okay. So you pick up all your good, your good stuff, bottle openers. You know, you said those other languages, kind of like you speak a second language. Oh, they seem I, pretty natural to you. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I guess so. Let's get for our viewers who don't know, I am a fluent Spanish speaker, but I don't use it too much anymore just to cuss people out. And you kind of speak English, too, a little bit. I, I tend to speak English <laughs> when I have to. Let's get the whiskey port, too. Oh, okay, let's do that. Look at okay, let's talk about color. the whiskey real quick. This is the Dalmore Portwood Reserve Highland Single malt Scotch whiskey from our friends in Scotland. I don't remember ever having a. No, I don't remember this one. If we did, uh, not the port. I've never had the port. No, I don't think I've ever had the port. Dog. So this is gonna be good. Very okay. Touchy. Don't break real easy. Yeah, they feel really light too. I don't understand why. Okay. So any questions about Delmore? Yeah. Tell us about Delmore. What would you like to know? Uh, well, it looks it says here. Uh, Dalmore Port Wood Reserve. Uh, it's, a simple, it's a very special assembly of whiskey matured with American white oak ex bourbon barrels, which is then fit, finessed by H. Tawny Port Pipes, hand, it, hand selected by W.J.'s Graham's Vineyards in Portugal. A majestic and refined single malt with flavors of rich plums, orange, coffee, and sweet cherry. Dude, this is a very special show. Okay. We we got some stuff going on yeah. here. We well, got we got daddy and the baby daddy. <laughs> and you're not gonna ask why it has antlers on it? Uh why does it have antlers on? Somebody get killed? No, somebody didn't get killed. Oh, okay. So around twelve sixty AD, somewhere on in there. Okay. Uh the head of the McKinsey clan. Okay. Uh he saved Alexander the Third, the king, mm -hmm. from being trampled to death by a wild stag. Whoa. So, as a reward to that, the king allowed him to put the 12-point stag horns on his family crest. Wow. And then in like the 1850s, somewhere around there, the family started the distillery, and they put that on every lot. Hmm. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds like, wow. 
So I guess that's a sign of like royalty and stuff, having so many points on the animal. Don't know about that, but... Oh, 12 point stag would be a good one. Would be a good one, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, this is nice. He's been around. He's a tough guy. The whiskey. Okay. Whiskey. The of course, the whiskey. Because <laughs> we're the three whisketeers plus D'Artagnan. Ooh, hold on a second. Let me... Whoa. Let's look at this. This is really thick. And the color is very dark. Uh, and the... To the nose... Wow, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Oh, it's uh, a little little bit of orange, a little bit of plum, spice or something. Yeah, a little spice. Um, the coffee is like in the background, but it's not too strong. But man, this is wow! I don't think I've ever had this, so I'm I'm really happy to try it. <sighs> it's really good. I don't remember ever having a. Is it Dalmore? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay. At least it, that's how I say it. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody wants to uh, question it, you can put it in the comments. Dalmore! <laughs> so, um, Dalmore, 12 year old, is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And recently, someone said to me, They're all your favorites. And I said, Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are, so, what's the problem? So, this, uh, the 12 is one of my favorites. Okay. I really like this too, a lot. Well, um, I've never had a, nice. I don't think I've ever had a port. Wood, wood finish. Uh, port wood. Oh, uh, yeah. I know you have because you've tried the Glen Morangi. Yeah. Oh, that's right, the Glen yeah. 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 Okay, so this that's why it tasted a little bit familiar, but I was trying to figure out what it is. But dude, this is awesome. It is a good. It now. it's it's dark and and strong and it has a kick, and it's it's mm. it's, it's got a little bit of a burn mm, at the end, but it's not a bad burn. It's like it's a lingering one, and I think it's because it's so thick. But this is definitely sweet. It's one of the sweeter ones I've had. And that's in a bad way. There is a little sweet to it. Yeah. Kind of like, you yeah. yeah. Intense and a little sweet. So, how do we do this? So, we... This is new to me. Oh, okay. We have this glass. Yep, okay. And we put it to our lips, and we suck like a sippy stuff. <laughs> oh, look. Vern and I did the port show. We, uh... We tried a port with, um... Out a sippy glass and with a snip glass, and we both agreed there was really a difference in the flavor when it came from the bottom instead of coming from the top. Really? And I think it's a better flavor. I was really surprised. I thought it was just a gimmick, but it really it makes a difference. Hmm. Okay, should we do that now? Yeah, try it from the top and see what you think. So we are we to face it? Yeah, don't pour it down your shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was really surprised. Yeah, you definitely get like when you suck on it. You definitely get that little hit that's coming, and then boom, it hits you. Cause it, cause it, you know, it's the fumes or whatever. Like you're sucking on something, then you, you get the flavor without even tasting the liquid. And then boom, the liquid so, hits you. Mm. To well, well, bring well, brings well, back. Okay. Okay. We also have lovely chocolate over there that goes really well with board. Yeah. And these yummy, yummy. We get them at Christmas time. Waffle, caramel waffle. Stroop waffles. Stroop waffle. Stroop waffle. Yeah, stroop waffles. <laughs> okay, so, these are stroop waffles, and they're soft, toasty waffle filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. For those yep. who don't remember, what is port finish? That means that once the whiskey has aged, mm -hmm. it usually is put in a port barrel for a period of time to bring out some of that flavor of the port into the whiskey. Okay. To, to uh, suck it out of the wood. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. So, okay. so that since the port has been in there probably three plus years, on a tawny it, it could be much longer than that. It could be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Um, that is in the wood. So in this case we had American white oak with bourbon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we had the Graham's tawny port. And then we had the Delmore finish. Yeah, so we got like, we got all kinds of different diverse countries coming in here. So we got Amer we got the United States, we got Scotland, and we also got Portugal. And who else is involved? I don't know. We have this lovely scotch mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this lovely port. Mm -hmm. Have you guys thought about them and what they taste like together? Yeah, that's what I was uh, Yeah, I was trying to figure asked. it out. They're kind what of, did you think? Yeah, I want to hear what you think first. No, no. <laughs> I want to hear what you think Hold first. Hold on one second. No, this came from this. <laughs> Yeah. Or vice versa. Is it getting some of its sweetness from yeah. that? 
Oh, it has to be. It, the, some of the sweetness in this is coming from this, I think. I uh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That too. And I don't know. I I can I can really taste the similarities between them. Yeah. And this may not be the barrels that they used, but it was a tawny barrel, and that is a tawny tawny port. So close enough. It's yeah. as close as you're gonna get. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean you can definitely right taste there. and smell that there are similarities. But you know, you definitely know that this is a whiskey and this is a wine. Both of them are good. This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I really love drink. this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I really love it. It better be. It was expensive. Was it really? Well, yeah. what's the price point on something like this? On that port, mm -hmm. um, the whiskey was one hundred and five dollars. The port was more. <sighs> yeah. Boy, you better slam this within two weeks because it's gonna go bad. Mm. Well, it's a, I'm it, going that to might enjoy be the it. most I'm expensive not wine it. I've ever. Yeah, well, you got me. two weeks, right? <laughs> it might be mine. Yeah. It is oh, Christmas. we got something else. And even though we got some crack. Even though Eddie is not being particularly nice, whatever. <laughs> he's, he's always he's naughty. He's always on a naughty oh, list. I'm on the naughty list no matter what. <laughs> well, I got you guys some gifts. Me and Burn got you guys some gifts. Oh my gosh. So first, we got an orange marmalade with whiskey. Ooh. Oh wow. One for each of you. If I can find it. There it is. Oh, this has alcohol in it. Yeah. And you know, we thought, what could we get you guys? Could we get you a bottle of whiskey? Yeah, but who cares, right? Right. Right. So, we got you Wow. each. Open it up. Oh my gosh, you're crazy, dude. Open it oh, up. Oh, cool stones. Open it up and see what you got. Show our audience. That might be good. Oh, <gasps> This is nice. This is unboxing. YouTube loves this kind of stuff. Mm. Gorgeous. Awesome. So we got some stones right here that we can use instead of ice. We got Glen Claring glasses. And we got two Glen Claring glasses. A little bag. A little bag for, uh, I think it's the cubes. And a, a pair of uh, tongs to tongs. pick the cubes up. That's right. So instead of having to put ice, you guys can now have an official whiskey tasting with your friends when they come over. Oh my gosh. I am officially cool. <laughs> and thank you. And this is very good. This is suitable for gluten-free and vegetarian diets. No added color of flavors. Does not contain high fructose corn syrup. And we appreciate that. Even though sugar is sugar, we want it to come from a natural sugar. So in conclusion, our final thoughts are we do taste a little bit of the port in our whiskey. Right? Yeah, I think we do get the influence. Yeah. yeah. And get yourself a, a tawny port in a bottle of the Delmore Port Finish, try it yourself. Yeah, yes. I think you'll be uh, surprised. Yeah, this is one of the best comparisons we've had. This is a fun thing to do on Christmas to, with, with your friends. Yes. Yeah. And you know, you can get to enjoy this, and you get to enjoy this, and you get to discuss. Yeah. And sit around, and you're not going to bicker about politics. Yep, all that other stuff. This is a fun activity to do. Yeah. And if you're lucky enough to be able to find the 2016 vintage of version of this, the 2016 has been an exceptional year for grapes, and it is going to be a very desirable vintage. So, so what those are large production of grapes? I, I the, the quality of them was really good. Oh. So the 2016 vintage, it, it, if you're looking for a port, try to grab one of those. Okay. It was in all the headlines. Yeah. Didn't, saw it. Haven't you read anything? <laughs> Dude, uh, I'm, I'm ignorance is bliss. <laughs> well, yeah. on that note, Curtis, I want to thank you very much for the gifts and for the, for this. It's been fun. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, thank you for the gifts. And uh, I want to wish everybody a very, very happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And on that note, Great Britannian, let's go home. All for one. And one for and all. One for all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>